What's up everyone and happy Thursday. I hope everyone is having a great day, a beautiful day, and a blessed day as always. Hello. If you are new to my channel, my name is Keisha and if not, then welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the title of this video, which is going to be God's miracle is in your submission. I got this title from the Holy Spirit, of course, but it was as I was reading in John the story about Jesus feeding the 5,000, the multitude. He was teaching, right, a sermon on the mount that everyone was taking heed to that they were listening to. And that right there is the first start, right, to just take heed and just listen to the word that God has said, the word that God has spoken, Right, so they first and foremost was already in the right position just by listening and taking heed to what it was that Jesus was teaching. So there came a time throughout the day because he had been teaching for hours that, of course, everybody started to get hungry. And the dilemmas were, first and foremost, they were far, far away from home because a lot of people came from very far just to hear Jesus teach. And secondly, the disciples didn't have any money to even go somewhere to go buy food. Like it just was no matter, even if they had enough, it still would not have been enough back in that day to feed 5,000 people. So Jesus then gave the disciples a command, right? He told them to go tell the, the, the multitude to sit down and to sit down in an orderly way. Now, let me just park here for a second because when it comes to, us in life in reality the life that we are currently living let me speak on how much faith the five thousand people had to have because if you were told to sit down like you're about to eat but you don't see no food anywhere most of us would come from a place like there ain't no no way like i'm not sitting down what am i sitting down for like you know what i'm saying you were really feel feel by looking at the situation that it was impossible that there, that there is no way that all of us are literally about to be fed not only was everybody fed but everybody was full not only was everybody full but there were 12 baskets also left over after the miracle took place they were able to receive the miracle because first and foremost, they took heed. They was listening to the word. After being obedient and just listening to the word, taking the word in, they also took order to the commandment and did what they were told by Jesus' word, which was sit down in an orderly way. And that's another thing that we have to do that is also said in the Bible that, listen, we have to not only be hearers of the word, but doers of the word as well. So they were hearing Jesus speak. And then Jesus also spoke and said, sit down in this way. And they did so. And because they submitted, because they postured and positioned themselves to receive, they received the miracle. And again, you would think that, okay, being in that, that it was, again, think about this context. It was 5,000 people. You might think I might get just enough just to, you know, satisfy my hunger a little bit. But no, they were full. The word says that everybody was full. And that's what Jesus' miracles look like. We don't just receive like a little, a portion, God gives us things in fullness. But you only are able to receive the miracles whenever you are submitted, surrender, and are obedient to what it is that God word says and what he tells you to do. These are some of the main key points points, factors, things that we have to do in our own personal lives to receive God's miracles. And it is easy to look at our circumstances and begin to doubt and feel like there is no way that I'm going to get what I need 
you know, especially if you are feeling like it's you need something in a certain time frame. Listen, God lives outside of time. God knows what you need. A lot of times he is just waiting for us to get into position, into a certain posture, heart posture, you know, a mindset, things of that nature to be able to fully receive. Because once we fully receive his word in him, then we will be able to fully receive the miracle, the blessing, the promises, the answer prayers that he has wanted to release over our lives. So I'm just coming on here today to remind some people that if you want to receive God's miracle, then you need to get submitted. You need to surrender. You need to position yourself to get into that place. To be able to receive and just believe and trust in what it is that God says. Because knowing that his word is the truth. Knowing that he does not lie. So if God is telling you to do something, just do it. Because again, in your surrender, your submitting and in your obedience, you will receive the fullness of God's miracle. So I just wanted to remind anybody or just give you another perspective on a, one way. Because there are multiple ways that God will release his miracles. But I do know for a fact that one of these ways is submitting, doing, keeping the word of God to see himself fully show up in your life. So I hope that this message has helped, inspire, touch, bless anyone who it has reached. As always, let's be motivated, but most importantly, let's be inspired by the word of God. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to anyone um, to the channel, but, just, but share it out, excuse me, to anyone who may need to hear this word.